guys welcome back to another video in today's video we're going to be doing is something very different and that is i'm going to be showing you guys what i think mega man 12 would look like i'm highly anticipating this because i just played all the mainline mega man games 1 through 11. so yeah uh so this is what i think it would be like but the more and more i walked on it the more and more i was like yeah maybe not uh, well, this is just like, you know, but I do have story for this. So the story is, uh, Dr. Light, uh, makes this like, uh, I guess like, like zoo or something, or Dr. Light and Dr. Wily back when they were like friends and stuff made like a zoo for all like the, uh, like for all extinct animals and stuff, robotified, of course. So, like, for robot versions of animals that have gone extinct, and they had these mascots to represent them and, like, greet people and stuff. And now, Dr. Wily just, uh, took those robot robots and uh, turned them evil. They were just, like, lying around because the park it was closed after Dr. Light and Dr. Wily turned into, like, enemies and stuff. So, yeah, that's basically, like, the starting thing, and now Mega Man gotta go stop him, because all the robots are terrorizing the city. And just pretend this isn't the new art style for Mega Man 11, because I think that's how they're gonna do it from now on. Because it's just more modern. And honestly, I'm fine with that, I kinda like the new style, but I think the Atari one was better. What's on it? Or NES, the NES one was better. So, yeah, let's just get into it. So, here we got Mega Man 12. Uh, this doesn't really represent what it's going for, like the animal theme. Uh, but, yeah. Now, I actually accidentally drew the stage, the stage select thing there. And the character selection next, so we'll move on to that. And as you can see, you can play as Mega Man, Proto Man, and new character, Turtle Man. So, the reason why there's another one here, Turtle Man, th this is character select, by the way, so you got Mega Man, Proto Man, and Turtle Man. Turtle Man's playable, because one, I love turtles, favorite animal, and two, uh, Dr. Light decided to grab one of the spare robots as well, that wa before Wily could get his hands on him, and that is Turtle Man. He would represent the turtle area of the park, because they've gone extinct. So, yeah, yeah, uh, and yeah. So they all have unique stuff. Mega Man, how he played in other games, how he played in Eleven, basically. Proto Man, just think of, like, the Proto Man from Mega Man 9 slash 10 in, like, the new art style. And then Turtle Man will be able, will be the slowest character, but will be the slowest character and have the lowest jumping height. Well, no. It will just be slow. He's a slowest character, and he can uh, also, but, sorry, but he can also uh, do a special move where instead of sliding, like Proto Man, uh, he can um, go into his shell and just, like, deflect projectiles and send enemies flunk flinging away. Now, the th thing would only last... And he'll only be able to slide for, like, as long as Proto Man can, but... Or go on his shelf for as long as Proto Man can, but... It'll be pretty cool. So, yeah. There's Turtle Man, Proto Man, and Mega Man. Mega Man looks a bit goofy. Sorry if, if they... If the drawings are pretty bad, uh, I'm not that good of a drawer. But I want to improve. So, after we pick our character, we would move on... Which, we're just gonna pretend that we picked Mega Man. By the way, this does not d affect difficulty, it's just for character. And then we would be on to the uh, Robot Master Select. Now, I do have drawings of all them, what they would look like and stuff. We'll get into that later. But Turtle Man and all the Robot Masters here, I, just, I drew Days and Turtle Man here first. They changed on their, they and look better on their normal thing. On their self-alone pictures. But anyway... 
Uh, Mega Man, Seer, whatever character or Robot Master, I guess, you would hover over is where his eyes would look. And then there's also a uh, home here, which would just be a shop. And then we're on to the Robot Masters. We got Ape Man, Bird Man, Frog Man, Rhino Man, Shark Man, Pig Woman. Uh, no way. No way. It's Ape Man, Bird Man, Frog Boy, Rhino Man, Shark Man, Pig Woman, Fly Man, and Octopus Man. So. Yeah, we'll get more in-depth in them when we get into their single things. So first up here, we got uh, Turtle Man. Uh, better look at him and an overall better drawing here. I hate that shadow, bro. But yeah, there we go. Turtle Man, playable. And I went over his abilities and stuff. So, yeah. Then we're on to our first boss, Frog Boy. And better look at him. So yeah. Uh, he would be uh, like the weakest and easiest boss. The first one that he would fight. But he would still be hard. No robot masters in this game would be like necessarily easy and stuff. But Frog Boy here. Uh, he uh, is a boy. Not man. I know like, like Mega Man and... Proto Man and Frog Man, no, no, Turtle Man, they're all like in base and stuff and roll. They're all like in between like 12 to 14. The reason up to 14 is because of base. I don't know how old he is. Either 14 or 13, I think. But uh, yeah, so Frog Boy here, uh, he he's young. Even though they're all robots, he, he's just younger. So that's why Boy. And his moves, as soon as you get past all this stage, or his stage, you just go in there and it would be like a slimy stage and stuff. And his attacks would be like, you see how it's slimy and stuff and like his legs can open. It would hop around, leaving like goo in his trail and if you step on that you get stuck for him to hit you. He will like extend his arms out because they're gooey and like stretchy and stuff. And hit you and whack you and stuff, so... Yep. Uh, past frog. Uh, so we get past frog. Sorry, this video is kind of bad. We yeah, past frog boy. We got shark man. Shark man boss. Now, this guy's different. He is like a like a suit suit. He's not like an actual robot. Think of like Lefty from FNAF. He's like robot, but you you can wear him. Well, no, think of like a springlock suit. Except no spring locks. It's just like a mecha suit for humans to wear. So an actual person would get in this one. I don't know why. I guess they were just feeling lazy that day when working on Shark Man. Uh, Dr. Wiley. Dr. Wiley. Wiley. Uh, so yeah. he. So, in, so the thing. Well, the shark suit does actually have consciousness. It's just like. Don't, don't think about how that would work. Well, robot consciousness, which is just, like, AI and stuff. So, it would trap this, like, random civilian inside. You, you could make it cool, like, it trapped, like, roll inside it. But it just, just a random civilian, random human. So, yeah, Mega Man goes save him. Well, he would defeat Shark Man anyway, but... Yeah. So, there's a human inside. So, yeah, his, thing, his would be a water level, Shark Man. And, yeah, once you get to his boss fight, past his level, his attacks would just be like the swim at you, like shoot out his weapon, which we'll get into later. Well, throw your, his weapon at you. And maybe, like, open up this here and, like, chomp down and stuff. So, yeah, did I give you a close-up look on him? I don't know. But, yeah, and then after the boss fight, there would be, like, a little tiny, like, cutscene. Or maybe still in-game, it's just, like, you put, you can't move and stuff, and it's just playing out. <laughs> Where, once you defeat him, the suit, like, shuts down, and the guy, and you help the guy out of it, and then he just goes home or something, I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, Shark Man. Now we're on to Fly Man. Here he is. So, yeah, Fly Man. And, yeah, uh, so Flyman here, he's, like, small. His stage would be a sky level. Very diverse, I know. Uh, so, yeah, once you get to his boss fight, 
he will like fly around and he, he, the reason I got him standing these things these are bricks he'll pick up bricks uh, like sh drop them on you you gotta dodge think of like splash one trident but instead of that's bricks like or trident attack in Mega Man 9 but there's bricks instead then he'll come down maybe like spit uh fly spit at you and that's where you can shoot him and then rinse and repeat till he's dead so yeah not that interesting then one to Rhino Man, got inspiration from Spider-Man for this one. As you can see here. His is cut off here because he's big. Uh, he's the second biggest character in this game. We got two big robot masters here. But yeah, Rhino Man, after you get past this stage, which would be like a desert-ish level. Like lots of desert and stuff. Or like, think of like Africa. It has like desert and then like grass and trees and you know uh, uh so yeah and then once you get to his boss fight he has three attacks he can charge up and run at you he can just like slide slide towards you and then he can also shoot out his horn from the top of his head towards you and you gotta dodge it he shoots out like boom 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 strategy going upwards so yeah well, that's Rhino Man. Then we got Birdman. His would be another flying level. Or sky level. So yeah. Birdman here. He would. Uh, once you get to his boss fight. He also has three moves. For the first one. He can fly above you. And you see these coming down. Those would shoot down as he's flying above you. And you gotta dodge him again, like Splash One Trident, and Fly Man, and Fly Man's bricks. So you would have to do that. Then he can come down and like uh, uh, fly you down there. And for his final attack, he can just like uh, throw the balls at you with his hands. That sounds wrong. But anyway, next page. Uh, then we got Pig Woman. It's a woman. Scary. Uh, but anyway. Uh, she's nothing special. Uh, she would have, like, a mud stage. Like, mud everywhere. Look like shit. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Her, she would have, once you get to her boss fight, she would have two moves. Throwing mud at you from across the screen and going underground and coming up wherever you're standing. So you gotta, like, move around and stuff. So, yeah. Uh, not that interesting. And we got Octopus Man. Got inspiration from an octopus enemy. I forget what, like, from an X series game or something. I don't know. But yeah, Octopus Man here. He can, uh. Sorry about that. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Once you get to his boss fight, he can, like, extend his tentacles out towards you, like, wet, like, move them around. You would have to, like, jump over them. You can chew them during that. And he can also, oh yeah, this would also be another water level. Part water level, part land level. And he would also, like, make, he could make, he can go up while his tentacles stay down. And just, like, start moving towards you in, like, a tornado fashion. And you would have to uh, uh, wait for uh, the alignment. As you can see, there's two in the back here and three in the front. You have to slide through that to get past that. So, yeah, that's Octopus Man. Finally, Ape Man. Big boy. Uh, his boss fight would consist of, like, well, his would be, like, a jungle level. And I'm running out of time in this video. Uh, I can just splice. Alright, sorry about that. I got three minutes to finish this video. Alright, so... With him, he would have, like, a jungle-themed level. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, once you get to his boss fight, he will have three attacks, slam the ground, and once he does that, you would have to jump so you don't, like, get stunned, and then he can hit you with his other attack, throwing bananas at you, which would be the same as, uh, Flyman's spit that I was talking- no, no, no uh, Pig woman's mud or one of the other where it goes boom 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 casually going up and then his final attack would be to go up off screen 
and start raining um certain certain brown stuff but if they capcom doesn't want to do that then it could just be more bananas because monkey big old fat monkey sorry about that but as you can see final page here we got all the weapons here also mega man damn bro got nine lives bro maxed out but we'll start at the top here uh we got goo hand from frog boy this is basically just, think of the electric whip thing from Mega Man 8. It goes out and you can like grab onto little swingy things and you go woo! You can swing right across. And it can also hit enemies. Then we got Shark Gun from Shark Man. Uh, this basically just shoots out a bunch of projectiles. So yeah. Fly Spit, same thing, except it's from Fly Man. Except it's Fly Spit, so more gross. Moving on to uh, Rhino Man. Uh, from Rhino Man, you got uh, you shoot his rhino horns out, like you did in the boss fight. Uh, so yeah, that does that. From Birdman, you get his little spiky projectiles. They also just shoot out, and a lot of these just shoot out. From Pig Woman, you get Mud Gun. Have I been saying the names of? Oh, I gotta say the names. Shark Gun, Fly Spit, Rhino Horn, Bird Ball, and now mug, Mud Gun. This is from Pig Woman, and you just shoot out mud. It's kind of similar to Fly Spit. Then from Octopus Man, you get Bubble Blow. Oh yeah, that's another one of his abilities. He shoots bubbles at you. Forgot about that. Uh, so yeah, you just shoot bubbles. And then finally, Banana Gun. You get this from Ape Man. You shoot out bananas. So yeah, that was that. I haven't decided on boss weaknesses, so you guys, if the comments are on, you guys can decide that for yourself. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry, this video is a lot less quality. I'm working on a plush video. So, uh, yeah. Well, not a plush video, but a review video for my Mega Man plushies. But yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye. Aye, aye. Like and subscribe, or I'll cut your dick off.